Hey guys, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com and we are at Summer NAMM 2015 in Nashville. We're at the Saga Musical Instruments booth, Saga Guitars. We've got David Gartland, who we've talked with many times about cool guitars. David, we've got Brian McKenzie, a singer-songwriter. Where are you from, Brian? Uh, Providence, Rhode Island. Nice. He's performing here in town. Um, check out his stuff online. Uh, but David, we're here for this, this beauty. Yeah, thank you very much and, and welcome to Nashville. Um, we really appreciate you guys coming out to give us a chance to show you what we have to offer and what we like to show you today is, the, is our brand new Blue Ridge Jumbo guitar. Uh, it's, kind of, it's the second in the line to the, of the series uh, and what we wanted to do was uh, we came out with a really, really great Jumbo uh, about a year and a half ago but we wanted to make it accessible to people so we decided to make one that's a little bit more affordable but has all the same look feel and and stylings of our of our original uh, Blue Ridge BG 2500 which is that model I'm speaking of and so what we have here is a guitar that's kind of a slick uh, a, a, you know a, a scaled down uh, you know just a real workhorse of a guitar at, for an affordable price um, yeah. So, tell us about the construction and the electronics and stuff. Yeah, well, what we've done on this particular guitar is uh, we've used rosewood for the bridge and the fingerboard to kind of keep the pricing down, but as for all you players out there, you know that rosewood is just a fabulous feeling, uh, player feel on the fingerboard and the bridge, and so it's a wonderful material to use. It's, very gr it's a great tone wood used, and it really adds to the actual overall sound of the guitar. Uh, the top is a Sitka spruce top, solid Sitka spruce top, and the back is flame maple, uh, and the, s the sides and back are flame maple. Uh, and the maple is laminate? It is, yeah, and that was one way to keep the pricing down a little bit. Um, and, and for those of you out there who might be thinking, oh, laminate, uh, you know, well, I'll tell you what, laminate guitars, uh, uh, all the, the artists that I work with, the players that we've done business with over the years have all said that, you know, laminates are wonderful guitars, they record well, they project well, they're very roadworthy, and the quality of the material that's used in that in that situation is it's not like a laminate counter. It's it's high quality tone what's put it's together. Not for mica? No, no, not in this one. They've done that before in guitars, but we won't go there. But in this sense, we decided that we were going to put some technologically advanced laminate materials together. Really nice flame. Why don't you turn it around, Brian, and show folks the flame uh, maple back and sides. It's just a beautiful guitar. The vintage sunburst. Uh, the neck is a, of maple, uh, it's, and it's a, it, it's, it's a multi-laminate uh, maple neck, so it's very stable. If you look at the back, it's cut so that the, the, the laminates are, are counter, the grains are counter-laid, so it, 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 it is very stable. No temperature will make that neck move. It's really great. And it's got adjustable truss rod to keep everything in line if there should be any movements or adjustments you'd like to make. Nice. Now, tell us about the the preamp and the pickup. Yeah, in this particular guitar, we have a V-band system in it, and and we're exploring that because we think that there's there's some interesting tonal possibilities in this guitar that that really married well with it. Uh, so for this particular model, it's got the V-band system with the onboard tuner, volume controls, uh, tone, bass, middle, and onboard tuner. So really, you don't need to have a tuner on your peg head, kind of covering up the brand name of your favorite guitar. You can just get to playing and you're ready to go. You plug in and, and uh, you're hitting the road. Like Brian, he's from Rhode Island, but he's here in Nashville. So. Now, is it a piezo under saddle pickup yes, only? Or? Correct, correct. And, and, and that's an under saddle, under the bone saddle. And we use bone always on all Blue Ridge guitars because it just sounds better. Uh, and a bone nut. And, and, and that's traditionally what was used anyway. So it just has a great tone. And all in all, when you put this all together, you get a, an extremely versatile guitar with this vintage art deco look that retails for under a thousand dollars you know nice. so you can't really beat that why don't we have brian play a little bit more Thanks. brian some new strings on there a little bit out <laughs> <laughs> All right, David, why don't you tell people where they can go online to read specs, find dealers, all that. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Sean. And, and again, thanks to Premier Guitar for giving me this shot. If you all are interested in learning more about Blue Ridge Guitars or any of the great products we make, if Kentucky Mandolins, Gold Star Banjos, whatever it is, whatever your musical tastes are, visit www.sagamusic.com and uh, check it out. I think you'll find everything that you're looking for and things that maybe you didn't think you'd need, I assure you. Thank awesome. You. Thanks, David. Thanks, Brian. Thank you.
I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com. Thanks for watching.